down the center. Lori Lightfoot may be a Sox season ticket holder, but she threw out the first pitch at today's Cubs home opener. David Bote caught the ball and snapped a photo with Chicago's mayor elect. Game day brought the type of spring weather we have dreamt of for months. Jim Williams, deservedly so, got the assignment of the day where the Cubs pulled off a 10-0 win over the Pirates. Good afternoon, Jim. Good afternoon, Brad. Now that is more like it, these Cub fans are saying after today's resounding victory. And to think that it happened in unusual early April warmth. This is amazing. One year after the Cubs home opener was snowed out, the dress code today, shorts and short sleeves. This it's incredible. absolutely perfect. You have great weather, Wrigley Field, and Cubs baseball. You can't ask for anything better than that. Longtime fans could not remember the last time the weather was so beautiful to kick off the season here at Wrigley Field. WXRT's morning man and Cubs expert, Lynn Bramer. Well, we've done 26 opening day live broadcasts, and it's never been like this. I mean, last year, you remember, I was wearing goggles, a knit hat. The sun and warmth ease the sting of the Cubs surprising two and seven start. That and perspective, fan Sean Rowan insisted. It's start of the season. Come June, if we had a two and seven stretch, nobody would even be worried about it. Cup fans arrived at the ballpark to see more Wrigleyville changes. The Captain Morgan Club at Addison and Sheffield is gone. Across Addison Street, a seven-month-old apartment building offers views of home plate. Inside the ballpark, more evidence that this is not your granddad's Wrigley Field. The new Catalina Club is nestled under the press box. The new Maker's Mark Barrel Room is near the visitor's dugout. Season ticket holders only here. In the left field bleachers, though, a new area for fans to stand. While not everyone likes the transformation of the friendly confines and surrounding area. It's now an amusement park. It's no longer a ballpark. It's one praise from Chicago's mayor-elect. But I think they've done some tremendous things for the city, and I'm going to be a big supporter. Lightfoot said perhaps areas around other sports venue can have other sports venues can have similar economic development. Live at Wrigley Field, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News. Brad.